What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to easily switch between stock and custom recoveries on a Nexus 5. If you're using a custom recovery, you get access to all sorts of cool stuff like flashable zips and custom ROMs. But if you want to update the stock firmware on your device, you'll likely run into a problem. Basically, when you get one of those update available notifications, you can't just tap it and let it auto install if you have a custom recovery on your device. So your choices end up being A, wait for a flashable update zip to be created, or B, go through the complicated process of reverting to stock recovery so that you can apply the update. Even then, if you want to go back to your old setup, you'll have to reinstall custom recovery when you're done with all that. This whole convoluted process is exactly why developer Graphics NYC created Simple Recovery Switcher. After a little bit of initial setup, it allows you to easily switch back and forth between stock and custom recoveries at the press of a button. And obviously you'll need to be rooted for this one, but the app is available for free on the Play Store, so go ahead and get it installed. I've geared this guide towards the Nexus 5 since Simple Recovery Switcher only supports a very specific hardware structure, so don't attempt to use this tool with any other device unless you know for sure that it's supported. But to start, you'll need to grab a couple of image files, one being the stock recovery image and the other being a custom recovery. I've got those ready for you to download over at the full tutorial, so head to the link in the description below this video to grab the stock and TWRP recovery images for the Nexus 5. If you prefer to use a different custom recovery, you can download your own image file, but there's a specific naming format on the files. Basically, the stock recovery image has to be named stock.img, and the custom recovery image must be named custom.img. Both of those files should be in all lowercase letters as well. But the files from the tutorial are already named properly, so if you go that route, you'll just need to download them and place them on the root of your SD card. You can do that by heading to the download folder on your device using any file explorer. From here, go ahead and copy the two files that you downloaded from the full tutorial. Next, just head to the main directory of your SD card. Basically, just don't go inside of any folder. Now, just paste the two files in here, and you're all done with this part. After that, be sure that you have the BusyBox commands installed on your device. There's a free app from developer Steven Erickson that can do that for you, called BusyBox. With this thing, which you can get from the Play Store by the way, you just have to give it root privileges, then close out any messages, and press the install button at the bottom of the screen. This will install the BusyBox commands, and with that taken care of, you're ready to use Simple Recovery Switcher. From here out, it gets a lot easier. After downloading those files and installing the BusyBox commands, you just have to open Simple Recovery Switcher and give it root permission. From here you'll see two buttons, Custom and Stop. So let's say I'm running a custom recovery and I just got an update notification. All I have to do is tap stock, then after a few seconds, Android stock recovery will be installed on my device. With that done, I can just tap the notification to install the update and it will be automatically applied, assuming I haven't made any significant changes to the files on my root partition of course. Then when the device boots back up after updating, I can just open simple recovery switcher and tap custom to get TWRP back. Easy as that. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.